Hello all, uh, I am Yuvraj Bharadwaj. Uh, Sixteen right now, student of class 12th at the University of School Delhi, Pashtun Bihar. Uh, I am into this research field from class 8, 7 and uh, we came up with few ideas, 8th we made our first, first research paper. Uh, all my research works uh, I do with my twin brother Yashraj, who spoke earlier in the first lot. So uh, this talk is, uh, my this talk is about you now ideas to innovations, which we need right now. Why I'm talking about ideas to innovations is that uh, you know, we, are, we all are facing some real world problems, very challenging problems, and we all have ideas, but we don't know how to make them to the innovation. So here I'm, I'm going to suggest you some ways through which you can even get ideas and make them to the innovation. Uh, before starting up, I, I would like to tell you I'm having 22 research projects till now, and out of which seven have been filed for uh, patents. We have presented our research papers in many conferences and science fairs as well, and qualified for many international events as well. We will be representing India. So our first project, which got patented, was Vajra Verifier, as Riyash has already explained. So I would not be talk talking much about it. And uh, moreover, our second project deals with. Uh, a medical assistance machine that is a very small size and uh, you can uh, do ECG, you can uh, do all the medical you know, equipment, uh, test them all in, uh, in your home. So that was our second project which was a bit, uh, which is a bit famous. Now uh, coming on uh, to, uh, that's why uh, we have opted for this road. No, we get, uh, many times we get this question that no, uh, 12th class students must, uh, and uh, we have started in 8th, so we got questions that no, 8th class students must play uh, on their PS, uh, or PSPs, and, or go out and play with friends. So why we have opted for this road is basically, uh, is the real world problems we are facing now. So I asked those people a question that, do anyone know why we need ideas, research works, and more innovations? The answer is no. They don't know. I'll tell you how come. Earth has lost around half of its wildlife till now. There are around 894 people who are not getting adequate water supply. With this, we have not come up with the solutions to the diseases like Cancer, asthma, AIDS. So that is what is striking us that why we should go for research works. If I talk to you, I, I would like to ask a question and uh, you request you all to please raise your hands. How many of you want to become billionaires? Mostly all. Yes. And at the same time, how many of you want to conserve this mother earth? This environment? Maybe all, yes. But let me enlighten you that in the given orthodox system, we can't do both simultaneously. There is no way. So what we should do now? My question is, so what do you choose? Will you be earning money or will you be serving society? I'll do both. And how come? Innovation. I'll do that with innovation. Can I have a huge round of applause? Yes, sir. Why am I doing it with innovation? Because innovation is something which is given by ideas. And what basically an idea is, not this one, I'm talking of this one. What basically an idea is, it's Something a researcher need to have to perceive a research work, a research project, which completely covers its research project guidelines. As rightly said, uh, said by James Webb Young, uh, uh, ideas are something, the combination of the old elements which form a new form. So how we have got, you know, I'm talking of idea, I'm talking that we, if we are getting an idea, we can convert di directly into innovations. People ask me, man, but how to get an idea? That's a basic problem. Your idea is here. How we can make it to innovation? So I tell you some of the steps that how you can get an idea. It's very simple. I'll give you an example. When Richard Feynman was young, boy in Queens, he went to a walk with his father, a wagon and a ball. When he pulled the wagon, the ball went back. He questioned his father, 
that why is the ball going back of the wagon? His father said, it's because of inner shield. Feynman was shocked. He said, what's inertia is? His father said, at, at that time nobody was knowing uh, actually what basically inertia is. His father said, oh please, stop. So the scientists at that time named the phenomena of ball going back of the wagon inertia. Nobody was knowing what was inertia. Then Feynman started in reputed institutes and ended up with a Nobel Prize for his diagrams depicting the movements of the summer atomic particles and explaining inertia. Why I am why I told this example because we have to see from where the journey started. It started from a question. So what we have to do is start questioning. And how come? Let me give you a situation. Assume that it's raining outside. Question yourself, why is it raining? You get an answer that it's because water is evaporated by sun's heat and then it is condensing which makes it rain outside. Then again ask yourself the question, why sun is hot? You come to know it's because of the fusion and the fission reaction happening over the sun. Again ask a question, why the fusion and the fission reaction are happening over the sun and what makes them happen? You come to know all the stars do have these reactions on their surfaces. And you come to know that it's because which is going on from the formation of the stars. Question yourself. What made stars? You get an answer, it was Big Bang. Now here is the interesting part we are getting into. Question yourself, what is Big Bang? Why it happened? You have come to a question where research actually starts. There is nobody who knows the exact reason for the Big Bang. Was it an accident or was it predefined? So here your research starts. You got an idea that where I have to put my efforts in. And this is what basically an idea is. The second step we have to do is analyze the things which already exist. Once you have come up with an idea, you should search, you should not be limited to the libraries or the online material. You can also refer the TV programs, the government agencies, search more, search again, again, again and again. Analyze the things that the theories, the ideas which are pre-existing about that particular topic. You will come with a good conclusion. Next thing we have to do is think from all the angles, which is necessary. Once we are having, we have analyzed the thing, we are having at least direction to what our project is going on. In your mind, turn it over, over again and again. You come to know more aspects of this. Think about all the possibilities that can be for that. Idea. This is what I mean by think from all the angles. So for, on base of this, I'll give you a question. Twins Adarsh and Anupam were born in May, but their birthday is in June. How is it possible? Yes, the answer is maybe the May is the name of the town. So why I have, you know, why we have come up to this conclusion is because we have think from all the angles. We have to connect the things. We have to think from all the angles. Write them down. Your idea is ready. Second, the next thing we have to do is synthesize the topics, the specific topics. We have studied. We have studied all the angles. We have studied about. We are analyzing that already exists. We are having our own research area. We have, have to put on our efforts. We have to combine. Them. We will come with a new conclusion. Now brush up across the information that you have access to. Once you have come up with a conclusion, go surf internet, refer books, you will come to know that this idea is existing before or not. If yes, study more about it and try to create a more efficient, more cheap and more good project out of it. And it, it's not even, we have to do a complete research work and it's the best part. If we come to a conclusion that Never exist, it's the best part. 
Because from there your work starts. Clearly define your ideas. This is something very necessary. When we're doing our Bajra Verifier project, uh, it was basically earlier that how we can remove extract metals from the river and sell them and earn money out of it. But then we did a case study of rivers. We came to know that those heavy metals are contaminating the water and harmful for us. Then we transform it to how we can purify the water. So whatever is necessary, clearly define your ideas. That what does it talks about? And let me enlighten you, research is something unexpected. You get conclusions which are unexpected. Because if you know what results you're gonna have, it means you're not doing research. You're doing marketing. Also, if, you are, if your results you know, are something unexpected, people uh, are thinking, my God, what th this guy has created, let them do so. Because real research works are those which make people laugh first and then let them think over it. Make a prototype if necessary. If it's experimental part, be it on the, to the papers only. But if it's something whose prototype can be made, try to make it. Because this will give an idea to the people who are you know, reading about your projects and all that what basically, how it, basically it works. So by this we have found a solution to a real world problem. They have come up with an idea, we have made a prototype and that too not existing before. So this is a part one. Second part is how to earn money out of it. This is what we all want. So what for money? to earn money, what we have to do is research it. You have to research it again as a business point. Complete the initial patent search. If you have made something, if you found something, it's not like that. You keep that is not existing before. May possible it was existing before. So we have to search initially about the patent search. That, that is a thing. Uh, existing before or not and if it is existing then don't be disheartened what you can do is you can make it more efficient more cheap and more easy to use so you can play with the design make it cool attractive amazing more efficient and work upon it second is research your market which is necessary we need to learn that what is the need of the market once because if, i'll give you a situation that you have you now made a new product I'm telling you, your brother will like that product a lot. But it's not necessary that your neighbor will buy this. What he wants is a cheap thing, a more efficient thing, and a more easy to use thing. So we, what we have to do is try to make our prototypes which we are making more compact. So that they are, they, we, we are not spending much money on them. They are cheap and at the same time efficient too. The next thing we have to do is get it patented, but we don't prefer to get it patented before you made a, make a prototype. Because once you have made a prototype, there are several flaws in it. You redesign it, make it again and again, make it again and again, make it again and again. If I talk of the Bajra one, we created around 90 designs, 89 designs for our prototype. And the final one was successful. So if you are getting patented your project before prototype, and after creating prototype, you may lose your rights. This happens. So this was I have budget that how we can now earn money, how we can serve the society in a wise manner, and at the same time, we are researchers. We, how we can be researchers too? It's damn simple. Why we need research works in India, in this world? Because there are many problems. There are many problems. I have seen people who are suffering from diseases and their family crying, literally crying, that how, how to cure them and there are no solutions. We all are sitting in this room. There are now many ACs installed where we are living a comfortable life. But let me take you to the situation where people are not even having water to drink. So for that, we need innovations. We need ideas because ideas only lead to innovations. And innovations 
will definitely change this world. Thank you.